Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We take a look at those kept machines. Nah, that's fine. They always want to look. They're never happy. They always want to look, and then they want to touch. It's like, why? There's nothing there. Uh, so I leveled up everything. Our assault turret is now better. I leveled up Corn Vetra. They're a little bit better. Uh, our assault turret now is a flamethrower, in fact. I forgot just how much... Like how many skill points you get because like i forgot that uh well at the beginning anyway you get a huge amount of skill points and then as the uh as you level up you get less and less and i think at one point same with like your companions like they get two per level up which isn't a lot to begin with and then i think at one point they start getting one per level up which is fucking insane boop and boop I mean, I already scanned it, dude. Don't fucking tell me that I need to scan it again. All right. So that's that. And I think that's the only thing we need way out here. So we'll pop that one, which is actually the last one on EOS, which is nice. Uh, and we'll see if we get any more cat bases. I'm not 100% sure what exactly disabling the shit out here does to the main cat base. I have to assume it does something. Um... But like as of what I don't know like the power generator like maybe there'll be less shield things um, the barracks there'll be less enemies that would make sense for that I mean that one seems pretty self-explanatory you destroy their barracks you know there's less of them um but like that security console I deactivated this because oh I see why I'm still in that mode um because I know that there's oh I actually should check this place out I should all right Got them all. The bug. Let's uh, do this while it's on its way. Yep, that hurt, didn't it? Hurt, didn't it? Okay, now you're getting kind of close. Where's my? There it is. Oh. Nope, I missed, bitch. Aha! Uh -huh. Been playing too much Darksiders 3. You can't hit me with weak sauce like that. Now, are you gonna be nice enough to drop something for me, you big bitch? And you aren't. You suck. And stay down, you little. Yes, hands. Man, why wouldn't give for a grenade right now? Maybe I should invest in the grenade. I mean, I never take the grenade because it's just like such like a basic ability that I never really think of it. Aha! Yeah, that does fucking nothing. All right. Oof! Oh, he still got me. Oh no, he didn't. There we go. And that is what those guys. And that is why I always like to have a shotgun. It's always good to have a shotgun at all times with you, just because of those fuckers, basically. You might think that, like, oh, but, like, what about, like, the race and that, like, the other things that charge you? No. No. You get a shotgun, you put shit in it that makes it good against armor, and you take out those guys. That's pretty much the only reason for it. Hey, another console to deactivate. Once again, no idea what these do. I mean, by all means, they might not even do anything to, like, the main cat base. I have to imagine they do. Night. Just because of like what they say during the uh, the mission where they first show you that those things are in these places. I mean, I guess they could in theory do something to these, but these don't ever seem to stop. I also don't know what they're doing. I mean, they could be pulling stuff out of the air maybe uh, to use for something or other. I don't know. Nothing there. Nothing with those. Oh, there we go. Container. I was like, I know there's got to be. I don't know, and some ammo. Good. Like, I know there's got to be some loot in here. There always is at least one in these structures. Okay, so we got another. Oh, I what the hell even died here? Soft chip. Was that? The, no, because that other one died. I don't even know what the fuck that was from. Oh, maybe that little bug. 
Up 47 soft chitin from them? Well, that's not fucking rare at all, then. All right, so let's check out this place, because it's right here. And it's an actual building. Oh, see, now I think this one... Yeah, pretty sure this one is like an actual... Maybe. Maybe not. I was going to say, I think this one's a quest place, but I guess not. It's a very empty place, that's for sure. Just seems to be where their uh, broken down vehicles are. Maybe it's like a repair station and just there's nobody manning it. I don't know. I, I don't know. When I rolled up to it, I, was, I really felt like there was a quest involved with this. Not right now, but maybe there is. But I also kind of assumed that if there was, that I wouldn't be allowed into it yet. I also see that there's another remnant thing over there that we should probably check out because that's probably an actual like map location if I had to guess uh, but we'll go and hit this rock for science first uh, okay I don't see any structures there so I'm not I worried think that's about it Stay alert. Uh -huh. it's nice that I don't have to check out all of these there, and I think I've already seen it actually oh no Oh, yeah, okay, it was. I just saw, like, and it's a vanadium. I I guess it's a mineral or something that can be broken down or smelted into vanadium because it's like, hey, there's an undocumented mineral here, and then you go up to it, and it's just, like, the same shit that you've been collecting. And it's like, Sam, are you all right? You, like, have a computer equivalent of a stroke or something? Uh, I might want to check out that as well because that actually looks like a bunker. Not just like one of these. It's so like that might actually be something we can go down into. Oh, for a second there I thought there was invisible shit here, but it was just they weren't loaded yet. Watch out. Yep. Alright, well I mean they're not hostile yet. I do this, right? I don't really want to waste this on the breachers. Oh. Nope, still didn't do that, eh? Hello, Mr. Observer. Don't mind me. Just, oh. No. Like I said, don't mind me. Unfortunately, I do need to get in front of them to do that, because if you don't hit them in, like, their little eye bit there, it, uh, does not count. Right between the eyes. Yep. I mean, as much as you can with these. And nailed it. I mean, all right. I thought I nailed it for a second. It turns out did not. Watch out, run it. Did the other? Okay, they did. Oh. Oops. See, now the issue with, like, the breachers is, like, I do like to have Cora with me. But obviously she charges in, and that's where the breachers are dangerous. Like, so it's like, oh, don't let those things get close to you. And then she just, like, teleports in front of one and punches it. It's like, all right, Cora, listen. <laughs> I appreciate the enthusiasm, but, like, really? I have to... <sighs> Sneeze. Ow, that fucking hurt. A lot, actually. Oh, God. Last video for the night, though. Just mainly because by the time I'm done that, I will have been recording for, like, seven-ish hours. Which is a lot. Then, you know, it'll be close to when I should probably go to bed so I don't sleep all fucking day. I would just stay up again like I did try to do last week, but that did not end well for me. Did not have a good day of work when I went back. You're a long way from the flock, little duck. Little duck? Who is this? Someone who's got work for you. Come to my nap point, if you think you're up for it. Don't want to keep him waiting, little duck. That is not becoming a thing. <laughs> yeah, so I think when we first reach this place is when he's supposed to say that. Yeah, this is definitely a cat place. Or not cat, a remnant place. Sounds like we've already had an effect. Uh, I'm not seeing a way to clear this location, though. So this may be, once again, something that we have to come back to later, or it may just be nothing at all. Because that does happen occasionally, but 
I don't know. This place seems kind of weird to be nothing at all. So I imagine we come back here. Like I said, there are a couple locations that people do get us to investigate at a later time for side quests, but... Or like PB gets us to investigate that one I pointed out before. That's actually a pretty cool mission. All right, so I got one cleared over there and the other one not so much. So here's my final drone to recover, which I, I want to say that one of these drones is like a giant pain in the ass. It may be this one. Because I think it might be like up top there. And since I'm already down here, I can't actually reach it or something. Let's see, uh, no structure, that's fine. Well, I do see a, another cat structure up there. I don't know, how do I keep doing that? Remnant structure here. With actual remnant. Uh, I'm just going to take like a quick spin around it to see if I can spot the chest since this seems to be a pretty open place. Uh, yeah, actually that should be it right there. Okay, so let's pull this out. And... Oh, boop. And boop. Right between the eyes. Uh, let's see, that one's not quite looking at me enough, I don't think. That one. Uh, one of them is, but I don't know. I can't tell which one is actually looking at the breachers. Like I said, I don't want to waste my shots on it. Well, this should work, right? Okay, let's see. Oh, that's more breachers. Don't care about those. Uh... That one. Oh, there is more over here, though. Uh, they are both looking away from me. <laughs> this is me trying to stealth Mass Effect. Like, it's not really a thing in this game. Like, this is as close as you can come to being stealthy. Which is just kill guys in one shot, and then the rest don't react. Like, which is nice. You know, it's nice that it's an option. It's a weird fucking option since everything is just dropping around them and none of them fucking care. Okay. So this, I think, is my last observer. Might be able to... Go. All right. So if that's last observer, I don't... Like I said, I'm not wasting the rest of my shots on them. Well, that also works. So there's that. So technically I can just grab this container and leave then. I don't even need to kill the lava there too. Boop, boop, and cleared. Perfect. Oh, and some more remains. And that's the other thing. Like if all you care about is like changing it blue. Oh, it's still recharging. You can just do that and like kill enough. Or actually, even if you have the uh the one tech ability gives you a tactical cloak. And you can just pop that running, grab the chest, and fuck off. You can do that as well. And there we go. And 200 experience because that actually clears the encounter, I do believe. But yeah, if like all you care about is the blue mark, fuck it. Just you know, go for it, right? Yeah, so to get this, I need to go up. And to go up around here, it's a giant pain in the ass. Uh, this might work here. It did. Awesome. I think I may have actually spotted it. No. Uh, let's see. I mean, if no fucking, it still says that it's higher up. That sucks. Um. Yeah. See, this here is the one that's just such a pain in the ass because of where it is. Like. Oh, there we go. All right. Fuck, and it's still higher? Are you shitting me? Oh, okay. But this is... F oh, God, I almost fucking fell there. So I should just be able to nicely go up here. Still higher? Looks like it. Okay, I might be able to work my way around this way, maybe. Oh, there we go. A little bounce, but that's fine. Got a cat camp over there. Do we? It's not what I'm worried about right now, Batra. 
Okay, that might be what it... Well, I don't care. And we have... Oh my god, how fucking far away is this fucking... Oh, and there's a location in here as well. Well then. I guess there was another reason to come this way. That's just a remnant one. Oof, oof. I kind of wish there was a way to, like, teleport to the Nomad. Because that would really fucking help in a situation like this. Oh, and then they're all fucking gone. All right. Uh, 29 points. All right, so that is obviously just another regular remnant place with a chest. And let's see, does this even work from this range? I'm not sure. It does not. All right. Now, I could go down there and get that, but then I'm definitely not making it back up that way, but hopefully I can work my way around to that memory trigger. Uh, I don't actually know what that trigger is for. That might be for the Ket base. Oof. There we go. I'm not going to fucking uh, quote, quote, stealth anything either. I'm just going to fucking bust in on them. Just because, like, I don't really care. Oh. Destroy that. I like that it's... That that kills them. Oh, nice. And we even have a, uh... A really... Oh, no, never mind. I going to say a really good container here. Because usually if they have... Oh, I got three remnant cores from it. That's nice. Usually if they have that symbol above them, they're those ones that we have to break into playing Sudoku. And they're real. Now that one's cleared. Now if I work my way around... Oh god, it still says that it's up, but I think I can work my way around and back up to it. Hopefully. Yes, we'll see. I should probably save that boost, because I'll probably need it to go up. Although... Alright, let's see. Yeah, I mean, right here we can walk. May have wanted to save my boost there. Here, that seems rather steep, but up and over there. Go. Stay up, shouldn't have stopped. Don't know what I was thinking. It's a crazy move to actually stop while I was trying to climb that. Aha, and there it is. Awesome. Oh, and there's a Ford station there. Oh, yeah, and the barracks is like right below me as well, isn't it? Last sight. More animals on our missing crates. Oh, look at that. We've got a memory. Trigger, Sam? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Alright. Oh, like well. It. Didn't fucking work. Yeah, just throw that down. There, you take care of it. And show us that flamethrower. Good job! And scan. Like Pathfinder. After examination of the supply drops, I've identified a possible source for the delivery corruption. Right. Nav for a hiding spot. Let's go see who was so careful with their theft. Locations marked, Pathfinder. Okay. Oh, there's another fucking bug thing there. Oh, well. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? It was, like, right there? Okay, and then the barracks is right next to me. The barracks is right next to me, which is down there, and it looks like I can actually rather easily get back up. Oh, it's actually that way. Oh, it's actually right there. All right, well, we'll definitely do that first. Because we'll go clear out that, which will finish off his mission, Bane's mission, and then we'll go get the, uh, oh, God, the resource thieves, and then that should leave us a good at least half hour to uh, clear out Bane, the main, bed, the main the base. Barracks. Oh. Nice headshot. What is that? Some cadmium, eh? Now. Oh. There we go. I love it when I headshot these fuckers while they're invisible. It's just like a, an even more of a fuck you than normal. I see that there's still one left, at least, but that could be something stuck. 
or just something like not actually up here. Or it could be that guy right fucking there. I think that's the last of them. Not bad, little duck. Not bad. That is seriously the worst nickname. <laughs> yeah, so I don't actually I don't think that I may like I may not even have to go back and talk to him. Oh yeah, I do, okay. Well, that's fine. So we'll go do that, we'll go talk to him, and then we'll raid the base. Now I don't know what all he will do for us. Supply. Guess that was close enough. Cat alloy. That makes sense. There's no fucking. Oh, there. Data pad. Translated from whatever. Reporting in Victor. Account final orders. Comment. I will say this only once. Focus on the new aliens that have arrived. I don't care about off world orders. It's obvious to me that the old tech does not and cannot give us what we need, no matter what is still hidden. But these new arrivals have understandable, usable technology and they may be viable for more uses. If we return with answers about them, that serves and raises me. Okay, answers about the old tech only serve the order we have. You want to raise me or you'll find yourself the subject of collection and study. Comments? Anybody? No? Alright. Okay, and that seems to be all that's in here. Lights are out in this place for some reason, which is weird. Let's see if that anointed fucker gave me anything. I think I killed him somewhere just around the corner up here. Oh, and there's another thing up here. Another whole building. Yeah, I didn't. Maybe we'll have a console, but I doubt it. It's an outside area. Oh, maybe in there, though. That looks promising. It looks like... Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm assuming he was talking to a, a, a Turian. I mean, I guess it could have been a Krogan, but I feel like a Krogan would have had a lot more swearing, or, you know, the Mass Effect version of swearing. Well, uh, hello, Mr. Uh, turret that I didn't have to deal with. How nice of you. All right. So let's go get our thieves. I may have hit all of the terminals, I don't know, that's out there. I mean, we hit a lot of buildings. We shut down, besides the two he gave us, we hit, what, two more, maybe three more? Don't actually know off the top of my head, but I wanna say something like that. Do, 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 do. All right, where the fuck are we headed? Okay, so he is up above us here. So I will need to find my way up. Unfortunately, again, but hopefully I can find maybe an easier way. This looks a little easier. Oh, that's not going to work. You know what? There seems to be a path going this way, so let's just try and stay on that for for now. Probably, yeah, let me up a lot easier. <laughs> I'm trying to go straight up a fucking cliff. All right, here we are. Right, these guys. Don't come any closer, Pathfinder. We'll shoot. Will you? If you're the ones who hid those supply crate thefts, I don't think you want to fight. Disarm. Wise decision, standing down. Who are you? Chase Gannon. Used to be maintenance. Look, we weren't trying to hurt anyone, just like you said. Why we came back here. We didn't want to be outlaws. We have family on the Nexus. But we didn't think we'd be welcome. Tan hasn't been forgiving. Not that we deserve it. How did you end up like this? What? As exiles? There was no hope. You have to understand. We thought we were all going to die. And when they exiled us, we saw it could be worse. People preying on their own. We couldn't. So we hid out here and thought maybe... I don't know. I don't know, Pathfinder. You admit you were criminals. What choice do we have? Exiles means they kill you if you come back. But we couldn't keep doing it. We're not pirates. We came here to build. All we could do was watch. Watch you build. At least it was something. 
I can't let this continue. You know that. Pathfinder, we're not asking to continue. Just... We tried. Alright? We tried and fucked it all up. Not exactly a nuanced defense. There isn't one. We got scared. We did bad things. We regret it. Maybe we're idiots. Maybe we should never have come here. But we want to believe there's a way back. You want a chance? A way back? Tan may not like it, but he's not here. They'll accept that? Let us try? Prodromos isn't in the business of refusing honest help. I'm numb, Pathfinder. I don't know if there are words. Then get to work. Alright. What the hell is that? Charged element zero things. Alright. So yeah, you can, once again, that really has no real bearing on the game as a whole i think now that we sent them to prodromos i because i don't even know if that other guy in the armor even has a fucking uh name but i think the guy we were talking to uh what was his name chase or something like that um i think now if we go back to prodromos uh he'll be there i don't know if we'll be able to talk to him or anything what but i'm pretty sure he's there all this? whoa the cat built all this they don't just have a base here this is a stronghold. Yeah, it is. All right, so let's go talk to him. We'll see what he has to say. Like I said, I think we got them all. I don't know. It's a big area. I mean, if we look at the map, it's, like, revealed. So unless there's something, like, way the fuck gone, for whatever reason, that is still somehow attached to that base, or for some reason attached to that base, I mean, I think we're good. All right. Hello, Masani. Damn good work out there, Pathfinder. Wanted to extend my thanks in person. You did a hell of a thing, taking out all those ket. You showed me where to head. Ah, you would have been fine without me. But you didn't drive all this way for me to kiss your ass. Here, your reward. Glad someone from the Nexus is competent. Stay safe, Masani. That's the goal. Oh yeah, there we go. Completed. Get a little bit of experience, and I don't actually think he gave me anything else other than that. So, you yeah. know. Yeah. Alright. So if we look, all we have left is to report the guys at Prodromos, which we can actually fast travel to, which is nice. Like, I forgot that that's even a thing. Uh, so actually, you know what? I think I will fast travel to Prodromos. Uh, to report them just because I have to fast travel anyway. So we may as well fast travel there, report them, fast travel to the uh, forward station right outside the base and then head in. Now, hopefully we did weaken it when we went and did the other shit. But I mean, I don't actually know how much that changed. I did try and look it up to see how many different locations there were outside of the base that altered it. Couldn't really find anything on it. Nobody seems to fucking know what the fuck, like, and I mean that, and I don't mean like, oh, people have noticed those things and uh, just don't know whether or not they actually do anything. Like, I just, I couldn't find anybody even mentioning that those existed, and I can't help but feel like other people have to know. There we go. Supplies lost to outlaws. Minor recovery, but a bad scene all around. We'll have to be careful. Recommendations noted, Pathfinder. I also don't know if being in this thing changes, like, when you fast travel. Like, if you fast travel outside of it, if it'll just be next to you. Um, but, like, I mean, like I said, I don't know. Maybe. The Nomad cannot be called in here because you are already fucking using it. All right. Oh no, they spotted me. Oh. Oh, that may be turrets up there. Nope. Oh god, this guy. Damn. Oh, you little bitch. Oh, damn it, missed. Oh, oh. Oh, what the hell was that? 
shot you now. We get that in there. Ow. Oh wow, that's a long distance fucking flamethrower. What keeps doing? Oh, that's probably that turret. Ow. There you go, cut the turret. Now, did my turret win that fight? See, now, uh, with the turret, you have the option where you can either have it have a flamethrower or you can have it where when it's next to you it auto repairs and increases your tech recharge speed which isn't a bad thing like by any means hang on i got itchy ear oh fuck um but i just prefer the flamethrower because i tend to send it out away to draw people away and then like when the uh because it's all activated you need to stay in range The hell is that? Oh, oh, that's my turret firing. I also increased my turret's damage and health so it'll last longer. I didn't realize just that uh, how good of a position I was fucking putting that thing in. So yeah, this here is your very classic like, hey, you're hacking this, so stay close to it. Uh, situation. You have some of these. These are probably some of the hardest things to uh, finish in the... Uh, in the multiplayer because like in the multiplayer you have to complete the objectives before the timer runs out um because like every wave in the multiplayer from what i remember has a has a time limit and once the time limit runs out then the enemy stops spawning right but i if i'm remembering um so like if you're running around killing shit that's obviously fine that's less shit to kill you but it will be replaced um oh that's just her um, the cat looked just enough like turians to screw me up sometimes i have a feeling like something. oh Oh, something's fucking... There we go. Oh, I feel like I landed right in front of him, which I did. Bye. But yeah, they look just enough. Like, obviously they don't look anything like Turians, but they move like Turians just enough to make me confuse them with Vetra. Like, if she's not on my screen at the same time, it's like, ah. Which is probably why I never used her very much in my other game. Like, this here is probably more than I used through the entirety of my first playthrough. Because, like, I, it was just confusing. Like, if she wasn't on my screen, I had, I would just constantly see a cat run by and be like, ah, yeah, there goes Vetra again. I'm guessing that's the cat in charge. Ow, 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 ow. Not here to impress people. Ow. Oh, actually. Nope. Get Just that moved out. ahead. So that it can cover me. So now I think at some point... Yeah. I was going to say we have to find a bunch of these. Um... Come on, is that because I blew it up again? I mean, I just... How many of these guys are there? A lot. Like, more Hostiles than a little. Ahead. I don't actually think that there's anything for me to scan here. Optional, set the shield generators to overload. See, I have access there. So, yeah, they have, like, a bunch of optional shit in here. And I don't remember how much of it affects everything, you know? is coming backwards at me um oh nice he actually crouched down for that one beep boop bop but yeah like i don't know how much of this affects anything now 
If it was me, right, I would have it where you can do these objectives and they do make the base easier to take for, you know, because they do something that makes the base easier to take. Um, or you could not do it. And then once you've cleared them out, you take over the base and you have those things, you know. Let's see you, deal with this. you know, it, where it like short term gain over long term, right? Now, unfortunately, there's nothing like that in this game. It's just, hey, take out the base and then that's it. As far as I can tell, your people don't move in. They don't do anything with the base once it's there. Or once it's technically, well, I say technically ours. I mean, we walked in, we kicked them out. They couldn't defend it, we win. It's now ours, fuck off. Which is funny because like that's the way a lot of video games work and yet in real life when that happens, people get pissy, you know? It's like, oh, all of a sudden it's like, oh no, you're pressing us because you took our land. It's like, yeah, well, I mean, you could have stopped us, you, you didn't. That's, you know, like stop bitching about it. It's not our fault. We came, we were saw, we were better, so we won. All right. Um, no. Should probably use... <laughs> That's probably, like, the one reason why I would use more... Or why I would actually bother to get any biotics. Because, like, biotics was never really a thing that I, I was interested in using myself in Mass Effect. Like, all three Mass Effects, all I played was Soldier. I mean, the closest I ever came to biotics was in Mass Effect 2. I used, uh... Jack's... Uh, loyalty thing. Ooh. Console. Let's deactivate this. I don't remember what this does. Oh, you know what? I think that's a security console. Yeah. And I think like at like once you reach a certain point, alarms will go off if you haven't got those. Ah, uh, it sure seems to be. Yeah, see, now all those are blowed up. Um. So yeah, I think if I can find those things before the alarm goes off, I just don't have to deal with it. Because I think there, are, I think there's three of them. Probably it's always three, right? Um, and I think they're like all along the way. Ow! 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 ow. All right, you're awfully far away. Stand back up. I dare you. Ow! All right, assholes. You want to fucking take care of whoever's shooting me in the back and stop shooting at that guy? Thanks, jackasses. I. Ah, oh, you prick. My bullets are all up. Ah, quite a few. I say quite a few. I have 13 bullets, but that's, you know, 13 kills. This place is massive. Yeah, it is. No wonder they were able to take out sites one and two. All right. So yeah, I should keep my eye open for more of those because I don't remember where they are. Because if the alarm goes off, I think they get marked on your map. But like I said, I'm pretty sure they're all, like, like you do end up passing by all of them. So, you know, if you manage to uh, catch them along the way, obviously that makes it a little bit easier. You see, that's another thing I like to do with it, which is as soon as people start attacking me, I throw it behind everyone. Because then, you know, it does that. It's like, oh, it's, that guy's stuck behind cover and We're just got all fucking roasted. In here. Probably before Site 1. It takes time to build something like this. Oh, yeah. No shit. I mean, it's kind of obvious that they were here before any of us. Well, especially us, but, you know. Uh, I feel with that growling that that's probably a rape. Ow, ow, ow. Who dares? Is that the alarm, or is that... That may be an alarm. That I'm hearing, but I'm not sure. Why you? Oh, there's a fucking ship. I forgot. I'm pretty sure there's like a way to quick switch weapons, like between like the last couple that you used or something. I love this squad. No, maybe not. Oh, oh, there it is. Good night. 
That's gotta suck, right? Like when you die because there was like a millimeter of you above the cover. Like, yeah, that's definitely an alarm. And that's definitely, okay, no, something got shot there. Where are these assholes? There's one. I guess I didn't really have to do that since they were basically dead anyway, but you know, whatever. My kill. Kill stolen. Alright. Can I do anything with this turret? Like, if I look at it? No? Okay. Kind of wish that I had a way to put it away, you know, besides blowing it up. But I don't... I, I want to say there's, like, there's got to be, right? Like, there's got to be a way to put it away without exploding it. Like, that doesn't make sense. Fire going on here. Oh, I think I see another security console. Yep. Deactivate that. I'm pretty sure that's what these are. Mainly because, like, I remember... There. Let's hope that stops them. Oh, there we go. That actually just stopped the alarm. All right. Hmm. Apparently there was only two, or there was just, like, that one was attached to that alarm. All right, I need to put away the gun. Makes it a little bit... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, you know how long I fucking looked for you assholes? And as soon as I put away my gun, you fucking show up. Like, you motherfucker. All right. Look at that. Locate all three security terminals. Security override. All right. Okay, so this is what I was thinking of then. And not that. Okay, so that other thing is just an alarm then. Okay, are you guys still catching? Why is there still fire? Like, seriously, why? That fire's been burning on this whatever alloy, pet alloy for like so long now. Like that can't be, that can't be right, right? Oh. Yes, all right, get out of that as fast as possible. Okay, my shield has, or not my shield, my turret has returned to me. It's two. This one's just to my left. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Ow. Okay. No, I turned around to go a different way. I'm flanking them. By showing them my back inside. So, like, this part here, I do believe, right? Yeah, so as long as I'm doing this mission, like, when I'm in the base, uh, I can't save the game at all. So it's just auto checkpoints, which isn't a bad thing by any means. I mean... Like I said, the uh, the checkpoint system in this game is pretty decent. Like I'm pretty sure, like anytime you change locations, you know, uh, it counts as a checkpoint. So that's always nice to have. Oh, I think I see another console here. So we'll. Oh no, that's actually one that I've already gotten. All right. Oh, here we are. Ammo. Ah, oh, fuck, that is the one that I've already got. Wait, is there just three on my map? There is. All right, so my other one's actually further in. All right, well, fuck you then. Oh, wait, no, don't go that way. Turn around. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You don't like fire. Get over it. I say is I would definitely be doing the same thing if I was on fire, but that's beside the point. Oh, my God, why is there so much fire? Is that because I overloaded the shield? It could be. We are. Deactivate that. Boop. Lockdown lifted. Asshole. Oh god, there's another one. It's fine. Okay, got you. Mr. Chosen. God, I can't wait until I can one-shot those little assholes with this gun. I could always go and grab, like, because I'm pretty sure the single-shot rifles would still headshot one-shot them, but I mean, oh, there you are. I couldn't even fucking see you, it was so dark over there. Oh, that's just Vetra. Alright. 
I was like, oh, that's not good. And then it's just that drone, just unloading for no reason and running through fire again. All right, so clear it up there. That was a two, whatever. This is one of those thing, times where it's like, I want to explore the base, but at the same time, you know, it's like, I know that there isn't anything like super good in it. Oh, actually, I never scanned any of those. Oh, and I can't even turn that one off. All right. Maybe because there's no alarm on it. Maybe because like I did the security override and lifted the lock down. That might be it. Ow, oh, got another itch. God. My ear, I don't, maybe because like I use headphones a lot. My ears always, like the inside of my ear is always like super itchy. All right, let's use this. Now, I don't think I can get through that door until after I beat the boss of this place. Alarms disabled, Pathfinder. Yeah, they are. Anything to scan? Oof. Oh my god, alright. Where's my... Okay, let's get over here. My other gun back out out the shotgun because they had a bunch of guys running at me down a hallway and as soon as they take it out of course there we go oh god Vetra he's dead my god he's already dead give it up just like to unload into fucking corpses man okay so there's something there there's something up here because that's definitely on a lower floor Oh, that's probably the commander. Maybe. Yeah, because I think... Okay. Let's see, where do I want to put my turret? Yeah, so this fucking thing, right? Like, to kill these guys? You have to shoot that fucking orb. Now these guys here are really fucking annoying in the multiplayer. Because if you don't kill them fast enough, they uh... Oh, what was that actually? Oh, that's the Destin. That's the, yeah. Uh, they'll keep putting their shield back up. And it's so fucking annoying, man. Research gather on enemies. Man, I didn't think that you could actually get that much before you fought. Because I guess I haven't really fought any outlaws yet, have I? Okay, so that's probably... There wasn't really all that many enemies in here either. There was a Destined. And there was the whatever boss thing. It's also really weird that, like, this small console in behind the giant console is what controls it. Like, everything is facing away. Okay, so I think this will take us back up. And then we'll get, like, a nice reward. Nice big chest. There we go. Elevator controls. And we'll get a great view of Prodromos. Because, yeah. Uh, I don't think there's any enemies in here. Yeah, but we do got some containers. With random shit in it. Oh, wait. Thought I saw a little bit, but maybe it was just the orange on there. Oh. Core encryption tech. Another container here. Yeah, still just kind of shit, but you know. Uh, yeah, so that's our research in here. There's gotta be. And then there's some more containers. Anything good there? Yeah, not really. But this one, oh, here, this got to be the good container, right? New sniper. I, I mean, I mean, consider every all things considered, that is probably considered like the good thing. But concerns. This mission is foolish. We hunt for remnant myths while those creatures seek to oppose us. We must make them see the glory of Ket, not dig through the mud of this broken planet. Do not blame the highest one, of course. Our light only seeks to make us strong. This remnant has poisoned the highest one's mind. It should be destroyed. 
Uh, you have heard, I am sure, of the new creatures from beyond dark space. Will they be a threat to enlightenment? The highest one does, not worry. But I see pain and war in the future. We must see these creatures for the pestilence they are. I recommend a team of our most trusted to begin elimination. Uh, most enlightened, this humble servant seeks an audience with you. When I sleep, I see things, terrible visions of creatures I think I knew once. Why do I feel this way? Do I see the future or the past? Please make a stop. If I must die to quiet these visions, I will gladly end my life. Tell me what I must do. Ugh. Man, my throat's getting a little sore. It's a good thing this is my last one. Alright, so here we go. Boop. Disable the cat facility. Base is offline. Everything is. Look down there. We've leveled up yet again. So yeah, now I think if we look, the uh, all the turbines down there have stopped. Uh, once again, I feel like I would have done it where we have now taken control of this. I mean, it's a power base, right? But there's no way that they're transmitting the power off planet. So, I mean, there's no reason why we couldn't just take control of this place, right? Yeah, see, and now we're at the door that leads to the elevator. And the big hole in the floor. All right. So now, what the hell are those? Let's see. Because I don't know what the hell this thing is marking on my map. Uh, I guess probably nothing now because it's, you know, offline. But I imagine that probably... Oh, you know what? I think there was like another thing that we could overload or something. But anyway, yeah, that's EOS. That's everything we can do on EOS done. Uh, our viability is 100%. Our Nexus level is 3, which means we can actually go back to the Nexus. And uh, uh, get another cryopod out, which is nice. Uh, I should have some alpha things done. So yeah, we have cleared all of EOS of every mission that is currently available to us. Currently, because there is obviously going to be more where we come back at a later date. After I think there's probably going to be a little bit after we do Havarl or Vold, and then you know a little bit more after we do the next one. Um, I think we're good here. One thing that kind of annoys me Let's is that go. there's no way to get on the Tempest and not leave the planet. Because, like, at, there are times where it's like, oh, I need to do a bunch of shit. And it's like, all of this shit is on the Tempest, right? So it's like, oh, all right. But then you can't. Like, the strike, like, the Alpha teams or whatever. You can't do those on on any of the planets. I don't, I don't think there's anywhere in the settlements to do those. So, like, you have to go on fucking EOS, or on the Tempest to do it, which means that we need to leave. Uh, Remtech, two rider from PB. Thanks to that remnant storage box from the EOS vault, all I need is one particular piece of Remtech to complete my project. My scanner located what I need on Bolt. If we get a chance, can we go find it? Uh, two rider from Nigel. Dear Pathfinder rider, my brother Dash was my best friend. It still pains me that he's gone, that he won't build the future here in Andromeda together, but knowing that our family pendants are united does my heart good. When my wife and I settle here and start a family, our firstborn will carry my brother's name, and hopefully he or she will become my new best friend. My sincerest hopes accompany you and your team. Uh, Pathfinder Rider, a manifest of items I have brought aboard your ship, the Tempest. Blankets and bedding in the event you are, your unfamiliar alien bedding is insufficient or, inc or uncomfortable. Small number of personal projects. These are bits and pieces of Angaran tech and weaponry. 25 drugs of nourishment paste. This will need to be replenished regularly. Armor, including my two... Rothgen unknown alt cap suspenders and equipment to repair them. Okay. Cape suspenders, sure. Uh, vials of salves, creams, and perfumes. I can provide your science officer with a list of ingredients if that is required. I've also brought my personal weapon, a cat rifle. I've been issued an Omni tool, which I am currently calibrating. I hope this list is compliant. Uh, two rider from Liam, come by when you've got a minute, got an idea, I want to run by you. Might help everyone deal with the craziness around here. Oh, so that I do believe. Uh, Starts a rather long mission. Uh, you have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Yeah, I don't fucking know how to use it. I don't remember how to use it. Um, but yeah, that starts a rather large mission where uh, that just takes us, or that takes place from planet to planet. Now I don't know if I'll be able to do that here. What hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two-hour argument yesterday, and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. 
taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. You still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? If I have time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Yeah, so we start this and like the first one is like, hey, go to the Nexus and do that. And then somebody else has an idea, then somebody else has an idea, then somebody else has an idea and so on and so forth. Um, so let's see. Okay, so that should be everything that we have to do. Uh, if we go to here, can I do anything? No. Uh, can I do something maybe in my cabin with the AVP? I don't know. But anyway, that'll be it for this part. Uh, I may do a small amount of running around now to just to get some things in order now that we're on the Tempest. Um, we'll head back to the... Yeah, yeah, we'll head back to the Nexus and grab the... Uh, Planetary Hollow? What does this do? Okay, so that does the same thing. Um, to grab the movie things and then, you know, continue that quest. Because I... Maybe that... Because, I, I mean, I, we got to pick up stuff everywhere. Um, where there's a store, basically. But we have to come back to the Nexus each time. Which is unfortunate. Or not the Nexus, to the Tempest each time. Which is unfortunate, because obviously that takes quite a bit of time. But anyway, that'll be it for this part. Uh, let's see, is it here? PBC project. Right, but that's on bold. Tempest. So, so I'll just mark that one. Oh yeah, and then that we need to go back. And then we also, oh, actually we can do that one right now. Search the Ericsson sector. Why not? We got a little bit of time. Uh, where the fuck, there it is. I forgot that we had that mission because why wouldn't I? That was a week ago. That's not longer. Uh, so let's see. So we'll search for the shuttle. I don't remember if we find it or not. I'll land you 30 if you pay me back by tomorrow. Done. Thank okay. you, Oh, this isn't even the Ericsson section. Oops. Uh, Ericsson. There it is. Okay, so the shuttle that left EOS is supposed to be here. I imagine because it's the closest system over and it's like a lot the path not knowing how space travel works besides like what I can see in like movies and TV shows which obviously isn't real but I mean there's shit that they say where it's like alright that could make sense and you know I imagine all of them have some kind of logic behind them so, you know, just kind of got to pick and choose as to which logic from which show you want to take yeah, that shuttle definitely did not make it. Cat debris. Severe damage consistent with ESO detonation. Oh, I get it. Turian escape vector, right? Another of their tricks. Dumping fuel as last ditch mines. Our shuttle might still be out there? Maybe. It wouldn't be fucking close. I have a feeling it's right there. That's the nice thing, because like when you're in the scanner, you do move slower. So if you can actually see what you're going for at first, you can just put your target over it and then just quickly scan it. And Ryder, it's dark, but no. I'm getting low readings. Stasis fields. Priority to the Nexus. We have a shuttle for retrieval with Site 2 survivors. Resilience, you are coming home. And there we go. We have saved a bunch of people. So yay us, right? Oops. Uh, so yeah, anyway, now that I've looked at that and done and we've done that, uh, yeah, that'll be it. What level are we? 17, so I may have some more research. I don't remember if that was at 15 or 20, but anyway, thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you on Saturday for more.